How to choose the best person to go for divorce advice. Coping with divorce presents undeniable challenges. Throughout this period, the presence and support of caring individuals become crucial for navigating the aftermath of sorrow and anguish. Their guidance can assist in returning to familiar routines. Yet, amidst the emotional turmoil, individuals often seek solace from anyone offering even a glimmer of validation and affection. The adage, in grief, we seek love, holds true, but this pursuit can lead to detrimental outcomes if individuals harbor ill intentions. Thus, we offer insights into discerning the most suitable confidant for divorce guidance. 1. Understand motive. Begin by scrutinizing the individual's underlying intentions for offering assistance. Reflect on whether their guidance stems from genuine goodwill or is driven by anger, malice, or a desire for retaliation against your partner. Even if the individual cares deeply for you, vengeful motives should never taint matters of the heart. 2. Staying neutral. Find solace in individuals who refrain from interfering in your personal matters. Seek guidance from those who offer minimal opinions regarding the fate of your marriage, as they can provide impartial advice that will genuinely assist you in discerning the best course of action. 3. Avoid any kind of force. Avoid individuals who compel you to seek their assistance, as they are likely to have ulterior motives aimed at enforcing their own guidance, regardless of its actual benefit to you. Conversely, those who respect your autonomy and refrain from coercion tend to offer more trustworthy and encouraging advice, ultimately contributing to your well-being. 4. Backing off. The individual should be willing to offer assistance regardless of whether you choose to follow their guidance. Advice should be given without any strings attached. If they genuinely have your best interests at heart, they will provide unwavering support regardless of your decisions. 5. Follow your own heart. Ultimately, the fate of your marriage rests in your hands and is your responsibility alone. While considering others' suggestions can influence your decisions, it's crucial to prioritize what is truly best for you. If you choose not to contemplate separation, you'll bear the consequences of divorce alone. Seek as much assistance as necessary, but ensure you maintain your sense of self throughout the process. Things you should never ever do on a first date. Initial encounters and first dates often induce feelings of nervousness, as they prompt concerns about attire, grooming, and conversational ability. Given that first dates establish the tone for subsequent meetings, it's crucial to minimize any avoidable complications. With this in mind, here are the actions you should always avoid on a first date. 1. Don't talk about the past. It's ill-advised to delve into your date's past, even if conversation flows naturally. Avoid discussing your own past relationships or any issues with ex-partners. Instead, focus on discovering their interests and preferences, and aim to romantically charm them. 2. Don't ever be late. Surprisingly, being punctual is appealing. Ensure you depart from home with ample time to spare to avoid arriving late to your date. Arriving early gives you the opportunity to prepare snacks or drinks, leaving a positive impression. 3. Don't use your phone. Using your phone during a date is highly discouraged. Imagine how irksome it would be to witness your date constantly responding to calls or messages, and vice versa. Dedicate your time solely to your companion during the date and refrain from letting distractions interfere. 4. Don't control any conversations. Avoid making the conversation solely about yourself. Take the time to listen to your date and inquire about their interests, hobbies, likes, and dislikes. Simply enjoy each other's company. Steer clear of discussing weighty topics such as marriage, children, or settling down. 5. Don't overindulge. Refrain from consuming excessive alcohol on the first date, as it may lead to loss of control and appearing disheveled. It's preferable to present your organized self during the initial meeting, saving any more relaxed behavior for subsequent encounters or future dates. 5. People share stories when they found their best friend. Best friends are truly invaluable. They unfailingly support us through thick and thin. During moments of despair, they help us navigate our insecurities, motivate us to strive for more, and even advocate for us to let go of toxic relationships. Their mere presence exudes comfort and warmth, empowering us to pursue our dreams. Here are the stories of five individuals who recount the moments they found their best friends. 1. Hilarious Wedding Crashers my friends and I once stumbled upon a wedding celebration, those extravagant Indian affairs you know. Surprisingly, our presence went unnoticed amidst the grandeur. 
What made the event memorable was encountering another group of students who had also crashed the wedding, dressed to impress in suits. It was evident they were fellow wedding crashers, so I struck up a conversation with one of them. Fast forward a year later, and he has become my closest friend. Samarth, 19 years old. 2. Online Support One evening, with friends over and seeking some amusement, we decided to give Ongol a try. I connected with a guy, and as we conversed via video call, I found myself empathizing with him. He had recently experienced a breakup, his girlfriend having ended things just two days prior. Seeking solace, he turned to chatting with girls online. I opened up about my own experience of betrayal when my boyfriend cheated on me. From that moment, we began sharing countless stories and have since forged a deep bond, becoming each other's closest confidants despite never having met in person. I'm Rita, 22 years old. 3. Boy Scouts Adventure My friends and I decided to hit the club, a significant moment for me as a gay man embracing my true identity in public. Unfortunately, my excitement was dampened when a guy started mocking and ridiculing me. Feeling intimidated, I found myself shrinking away. Suddenly, a girl appeared out of nowhere, boldly confronting the offender and shutting down his behavior. She then took my hand, escorting me to the bar and insisted on getting me drinks. That moment marked the beginning of a cherished friendship with my newfound fearless companion. Shivanj, 25 years old. 4. Standing up. In fourth grade, I joined the Boy Scouts as a shy boy, more comfortable with books than with socializing. Concerned about my social development, my parents enrolled me in the program. It was there that I crossed paths with Rishup, who reached out a helping hand and guided me through overcoming my fears, enabling me to excel in every summer program adventure. Now, eight years later, we're both headed to college together, a testament to the enduring bond we formed through shared experiences and support. Harish, 18 years old. 5. Accidental Friendship One time, I found myself inebriated and supposed to meet a friend at her place. In my intoxicated state, I stumbled out of my house and into a cab, believing it to be the one I had booked. It wasn't until halfway through the ride that I realized there was another girl in the car, giving me a perplexed look, as it turned out, I had accidentally hijacked her ride. Despite the confusion, she kindly offered to buy me water and some food, considering my intoxicated state. Without hesitation, I borrowed her phone, entered my number, and called myself, intending to express my gratitude once sober the next morning. True to my word, we connected, and since then, we've become the closest of friends. Samiksha, 24 years old. If you enjoyed watching this video don't forget to like subscribe and turn on the notification bell, so you don't miss any new videos. Let us know your thoughts about this video in the comments section down below and feel free to stay and enjoy it until the end, also make sure to check out our next highlighted video and we will see you next time. Thanks for watching. Please like, share, and subscribe.